I think it was in this area. Oh, you shouldn't be jumping on those guys. It was in this room where I got the uh, ruin powder. I think I might have gotten it from Luigi. Uh, so I'll jump on this guy and have Coops do a power shell. Sorry if I sound like I'm sleepy. I'm just trying not to talk too much. I don't know. I'm just trying to be a little bit more chiller than usual. If I sound like tired or something, I don't know. I'm just kind of relaxed right now. I'm trying to jump on this guy. There we go. I guess just jump in place. I don't know why I'm doing the stylishes. I guess just out of habit. <laughs> Shouldn't be doing them. Uh, I guess with this, just to save FP, I'll just attack normally. Because, like, there are other games I do want to play, but I just don't know if I have the time to edit and play the games and then do other stuff that I want to do. Because I want to work more on, like, game development stuff, because it's been a while since I have. I really want to do that. Because there's, like, bug snacks. I want to play that. I've already played it before, but. Just replaying it, because I just really like that game. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't do stuff before. Because I wasn't close to him enough. Go for multi-bounce, and then I think next turn, do Sweet Treat to get some FP back. I think I'll just defend with Coops. I think the only editing I'm gonna do <clears throat> is probably just silencing some audio that is like some of the little sounds that my body makes probably just mute that stuff like if I make little burps or I hit something on my table I think those are the only things I'm gonna be editing for these videos for the most part yeah these will be a lot more casual and uncut <laughs> for the most part multi -balance. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's uh dang it. Uh there's bug snacks, there's bug fables. There was... I wanted to play... replay, uh... What is it? Tears of the Kingdom? I think that'd be fun to play again. There was... I did want to replay my Smash Ultimate Nuzlocke. Again, the World of Light Nuzlocke. So I never finished that because... I ran into some issues with my Switch. Now it's okay, though. Obviously, because I'm playing on my Switch. Um, maybe play some Banjo Kazooie again. The randomized Banjo Kazooie, maybe. I don't know. I used to play that game every year, so. I was thinking of playing Animal Well on here too, because I'm probably going to get it this weekend. 
but I don't know if I want to record it or not. Or if I just want to play it for myself. Because it's definitely different when you, like, record something. Or at least how I want to get it to be is just, like, play games casually and just have people watch it. Sorry if I'm, like, talking a lot about this. It's just, I don't know. Oh, whatever's up there seems different. Now, there is a way... I think where you can get... I think you need to have coops. There is a way to do this, but I don't remember how. I think they might have fixed it. That's a pipe? Where does that pipe go? <gasps> oh my god. They did it. Those crazy bastards did it. <laughs> That's so nice of them. Uh. <laughs> That's so nice of them though. They knew how annoying that was. Hopefully it stays down there. That way going back up here isn't too much of a hassle. Get some FP back. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna go and get my partner ranked up. I'm just, probably just gonna forego that option because I think Hooktail is gonna be fine enough, especially if you do it the casual way of using the attack effects G to make her weak. Ooh boy. Um, we'll have Koops do Power Shell to get rid of the spiked Goomba, and I mess it up. I guess I will jump on this fella. I'm bad at getting super cards. Also, Koops. I really should have guarded for Koops. That puts him at a pretty big disadvantage. The bad thing is if they gang up on Koops, he'll uh, still stay toppled. Uh, I think if I do Power Smash, this should be enough. I should probably swap him out. I don't want him to die. Is he gonna help me out? Oh, he is. Nice. Well, I guess if... Uh, it's just this guy. He isn't too bad. Don't have to worry about Koops dying now. to go heal him up again. Well, there's a heal block right before Bone Tail. Or, I keep calling it Bone Tail. It's Hook Tail. My bad. Oh, don't think we're going to get enough XP to level up. It'd be fun if we did. Oh, really nothing new here? Uh, what should I say here? Something about being afraid of heights? Go Goomby. Goonie? That'd be cool if you could actually fall off here. Maybe I can make him hit this. That'd be cool. Ah, oh, dang it. I didn't get first strike by Koops. Okay, so I'll do... 
I could just do normal jump. I think you multi bounce, but I don't think there's really a point to doing that. Probably should have done power shell to get rid of the guy in the back. do power shell. We could finish the part of this turn. So just go for a hammer, I think it's a little faster. Yeah, because there's only one more battle after this and I don't think it's gonna give me 12 experience. Did they give you a different area? Oh wow, they did. That's interesting. I thought they'd be connected as a the same area, but okay. Oh, you can actually see some of the clouds this time. It's a nice touch. Also, I like how it gets darker. I don't think it does that in the original. Let's jump on this guy. Definitely gonna need to do power shell. Oh, I'm dumb. I'll at least get rid of this guy. Wow, oh, I'm really bad. I'm really bad at the timing for that. Sweet treat, I guess. And it's kind of wasteful because I don't think the heart block's gonna refill my SP, but I should have needed immediately at the beginning of the fight. Alright, that's a pretty good sweet treat. So this will get rid of the back one at least. If I get the bingo, I could probably get my SP back. I wonder if Star Bingo, you just have to mash it because I did it again. It's interesting. I'll have to try that again <laughs> if I ever get another Star Bingo. Well, we're definitely going to level up when we fight Hooktail, then. I could go find another fight, but <laughs> I don't think it's... is necessary. Oh, really, Goombella? So, does she say something different here? Because this is counted as a different area. No, she says the same thing. Well, we gotta keep Kumbella out because I want to get the tattle. I like how it brightens up.
Man, that floor is shiny. Ooh, that's really nice. I like how it's really expanded. One, because of the widescreen, and two, what's gonna happen later on in the fight. Start with a uh, tattling. Look how big Hooktail is in the photo. Fix that too. I mean, they obviously have to. Okay, so let's go for normal jump. I think her defense dropped every time she hears a frog sound. Let's say she does five damage. Uh, two. I saw it, but I just didn't card it properly. I like because there's no uh, top part. At least you can't really see the top part. That uh, the thing is exposed. The uh, the thing that fell on me, the light. <laughs> that one looked like it just popped, uh, appeared on top of her. This fight's almost done. <laughs> wow. Let's see if we get my FP back. Yeah, mashing A for this one doesn't work. We're getting it. Maybe it'll work for all the, uh, speed ones. Can I even hold that many? This would be cool. Oh, they changed it. I think it used to be Keep It You Cad. I wonder why they changed it. Now this, this is weird. <laughs> this is one of the developer's fetishes. Maybe just a quick sniff. Mario's a foot freak. <laughs> it was a dishonest. Mario's a, a foot freak through and through. I wonder why those toads are there. Oh, that's why they're there. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think they're all right though, because once you beat him, they jump out of his mouth, or her mouth, my bad. Now our stage hazard's gonna show up. I'm bad at guarding that attack. Oh, that's done. That was gonna be more annoying than I remembered. Oh wow, <laughs> that was cool. Are we gonna get a coin bonus? I thought the toads jumped out of her mouth. Oh yeah, there's a clear bonus. 
completely unnecessary, but I mean, I'll take the coins. <laughs> we need to get back on the stage. There's no audience. Um... I'll go for FP. For the next one, I'll get to the, uh... BP. There's really no point in leveling up HP for me. Because I can, like, attack most of the... Or I can go through most of the fights pretty decently by just guarding. The enemies don't really pose too much of a threat except, like, pit enemies, but... That's not gonna be too bad. I will be probably going through the first ten floors of the pit. I don't want to be too overleveled for the next chapter. I like this music, though. What is that thing next to Mario? That white strip? What the hell is that? Is that part of Hooktail or something? Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> it's part of her claws. Okay, Nat, wait, was it there or did the camera shift it a little? Does it look different? Like it's just a white strip. Mm -hmm. I have to check that back in the recording. Was the Earth Tremor a different color? Oh, this sounds really good. One thing I'm interested to see is how the Luigi stuff is going to happen. If that's going to be any different at all. Oh yeah, these parts. Yeah, usually I skip these, or at least in the hard mode I skip them, but I guess I might as well show these. I like the Echo. That's nice. It's a room, definitely a place for where Echo is going to happen. Tech's getting too horny for Princess Peach. I like that voice for her, uh, Grotus. I don't like the sounds of the X-Nots, though. Maybe it'll grow on me. One thing that's weird is, like, they always know about what Mario's doing, but you never see them anywhere in the story, except for Chapter 2 and then Chapter 7. I mean, obviously Chapter 7 because you go to the Stronghold. But, like, it'd be really nice if the x knots appeared more throughout the other chapters to actually feel like they're an organization that you're fighting against. I feel like the x knots were a missed opportunity. I mean, like, the only thing crazy that they've done was that they kidnapped Peach. Shadow Sirens do more stuff than, <laughs> than Grotus does. Because there's Chapter 2, Chapter 4... Chapter 6... I mean, Vivian becomes one of your partners. Yeah, 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 yeah
I need to go back and check if her voice is the same in the uh, intro when she's uh, when she gave Princess Peach the uh, the map. Oh, we get to see Bowser. Oh, after this little session. To go take a shower. Oh, that's cool. Nice little reflection. I like how it's not fully reflected. He's gonna have that cute little hairstyle that she only has in this one room. Oh, that's kind of weird. She was at like a diagonal. Oh, that's interesting. I guess, oh well, yeah, that is weird. <laughs> See them at the diagonal like that. I guess I'm just not used to that. I do like this remix. There we go. That's a nice remix of the uh, Super Mario 64 castle. Oh, tech is red in this one. It's like the Japanese version. So I think it's like based on HAL from a Space Odyssey, I think. don't remember if in the original that he had his own text box. I know, he probably did because I remember him having the green text. Why does Peach automatically assume that Tech likes her? Okay, love, that's the, that's the even bigger thing. There's like, one, assuming that somebody likes you, and then two, assuming somebody loves you? That's a... Uh, I think Peach is a little over in her head there thinking that <laughs> he's in love with her. I mean, it does in fact become true later on, or at least some, like, infatuation with her, but to call it love is a bit much, in my opinion, because, like, love is a very strong feeling, and I hear a lot of people uh, throw that word around a little too liberally when, like, how strong love is. I don't, I don't think you should, like, throw that word around willy-nilly when you don't really mean it to that extent. You can mean you really like something, you really enjoy something, but to say that you love something? I, I, I question a lot of people whenever they say that stuff. Like, would I say I love the Thousand Year Door? No, I, I don't think I do. I really enjoy it, though.
There's like very few things that I love. It's like my family, my dog. Um, some of my friends are really good friends. Other than that, I mean. I would say I really enjoy certain mechanics, but I don't know if I'd say I love me like certain mechanics and uh, like things in games. I don't know. Also, when people say that they're friends with people, or they don't really mean that they're friends with people, they just like know people. Uh, I guess they don't want to say like the word acquaintances, or they're just kind of being lazy and just. A friend is probably the closest thing they can think of when I don't think it's an apt word for that situation. Also, you can see the Bowser with the mustache painting in this one. It wasn't the original, but it's blurry as hell. You kind of get cut off before you can actually see it. Oh yeah, that's another thing. When people use love a little too much, and when people use the word friend a little too much, those two things. <laughs> Probably one of my biggest pet peeves. The best thing about the Bowser sections is the, uh, the dialogue. It's so good. these Bowser back sprites. This music is really good. <laughs> that is cool. Oh, he always faces front. I guess that makes sense. This is the one that has the jewel in it. That was the last one. This music is really good. When did Bowser get a mustache, man? That's funny. Or maybe that's his dad. King Koopa Sr., maybe? Maybe that's why this Bowser is in charge. He, he just got it because uh, he was the next in line of the family. And this music goes pretty hard. I don't remember this uh, music is all that much in the Thousand Year Door. Oh no, wait, I do a little bit. <laughs> Brainy hag. I like a good fried egg. I like mine like sunny side up. I'm pretty good. Uh, scrambled? I would say not so much. I mean, I've had scrambled eggs before. Uh, but if if I was gonna make an egg myself, I definitely like the. Oh, I like the little laugh there. Uh, I like uh, sunny side up is probably my favorite. Then after that, maybe a hard boiled egg. I know there's people who have like. I think it's like a hard-boiled egg, but it's a little, uh... It's not fully cooked inside, so people, like, use bread in it. I don't think I've ever tried that before. I have seen, uh... I don't know if it's a German thing, but I have seen some people talk about it in Germany. Where they have, like, a device that, like, cracks hard-boiled eggs on the top of it. And it comes off, like, really easy, and I forget the name of it. Uh, but oh, let me see if I can find the name of it real quick. Uh, 
trying to see. Okay, my German is really bad. It's in Eierschalensolbruchstellenverschasher. That is really bad. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I remember some dudes were talking about it on the internet when I saw that thing. It's like, I, I don't, I'm not going to let my girlfriend use this thing unless she can pronounce it properly. <laughs> so like, yeah, I can't pronounce it properly, so I won't be able to <laughs> use it to. But yeah, it's a pretty cool, simple device. It's just like a simple, like, uh, cracker thing that, like, makes a clean cut around the top part of the egg. 